Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So as we have been talking about on the channel now for a good couple of months, uh, Microsoft is replacing the classic Outlook and the Mail and Calendar app with the new Outlook for Windows. And I have found um, in regards to the new Outlook, it's one of those apps um, you either like or you don't. There's not much middle ground uh, when it comes to liking or disliking the new Outlook. And the new Outlook, just to do a quick recap, is very similar to Outlook.com. So basically the new Outlook is a um, glorified PWA progressive web app um, based on Outlook.com. And in regards to um, the new Outlook, I ran a poll earlier this week where um, I said the AI generated summary in the Microsoft Store recommends the mail and calendar app over the new Outlook. And I'll leave this video linked down below and in the end screen. And then I asked the question, so which do you prefer? And 54%, the majority, actually, the majority of you use another email client. And out of those who actually do use mail, calendar, new Outlook or classic Outlook, 17% actually said you prefer the new Outlook. And I thought that was interesting because um, according to the comments, Mail and Calendar is, um, in my opinion, um, gets a, a lot more positive review than the new Outlook. But nonetheless, that's according to the poll and very close, 16 17%. Now getting back uh, to the actual new Outlook app, as mentioned previously, Mail and Calendar will be replaced eventually, according to Microsoft, by the new Outlook by the end of this year, 2024. And the classic Outlook um, that will and won't be deprecated um, for Windows until 2029. So Microsoft's giving the classic Outlook a bit of a longer time period and a bit of a longer lease on life, so to speak. And I actually posted on um, the classic Outlook that won't be deprecated in, until 2029. And I'll leave that video linked down below in the, and in the end screen as well. Now, the new bit of information um, that's come to light is that Microsoft is making it a lot more difficult to go back to the Mail and Calendar app if you are trying out the new Outlook. Because like it or not, um, the toggle when you turn it off to go back to the Mail and Calendar is not remembering your preference that well anymore. So it seems that Microsoft really, really wants you to be using the new Outlook over the mail and calendar and as you can see in my new outlook um, prior to posting i actually turned my new outlook toggle off to roll back to the mail and calendar and after going through the process it's actually disappeared so you don't even get that toggle anymore um to um go back to the mail and calendar after you try and roll back to mail and calendar they've actually removed that and basically what happens is that after you um, open outlook now and this happened after a recent update from the microsoft store recently which i actually received a day or so ago if you try to turn off the new outlook toggle as mentioned um i have found that after you restart it disappears and then this message which i took a screenshot of uh, prior to posting and this message will pop up and it says outlook is replacing windows mail and calendar it says the toggle to return to windows mail and calendar is moving to settings general about outlook you can switch back temporarily but the next time you try to open mail or calendar new outlook will open so microsoft is basically um using very assertive um tactics here for want of a better word to almost force you to use the new Outlook. So I thought this was very strange, and I know this is gonna uh, this is gonna cause a lot of debate in certain circles. Now, if we just head out of this and we head to our settings, general in the new Outlook, about Outlook, here is where it says return to Windows Mail and Calendar, and here is where you can open the Mail and Calendar app now. Now, I've long since uninstalled Mail and Calendar from this PC because I found I didn't use it. I'm more um, tied into the Google ecosystem when it comes to email. So I use Gmail as my main uh, email client. But if you try and click on this, you get the same message. 
And over and above the first paragraph that we mentioned, um, just to mention the second one, it says, in 2024, Outlook is replaced in Windows Mailing Calendar. You can switch back now, but you will be returned to the new Outlook in the future. So Microsoft making it very difficult um, for you to roll back and really wants you to use um, the new Outlook over and above the Mail and Calendar. And um, I thought this was interesting and just wanted to keep you guys posted and in the loop because um, I know this is generating quite a lot of interest. So I just wanted to put it out there. So um, Microsoft really, you know, on a spree now to push the new Outlook for whatever reason. And I have found um, that the new Outlook, just according to videos I've done over the past couple of months and also reports doing the rounds online, that the new Outlook is lacking quite a lot of the basic functionality of the so-called classic Outlook as an example. But um, if you are using classic Outlook, as mentioned, you've got until uh, around about 2029, according to Microsoft. And although Microsoft is assertively um, trying to get you over now to the new Outlook, mail and calendar will officially be deprecated by the end of this year, 2024. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.